That's like a mouse. Like a hedgehog. It looks like a little squirrel. Whoa! Oh my! First off, I saw this dragonfly, dude. And then they just have a $900, $950 rod, excuse me. It could be a giant. It's good! Oh! What you got? He's got one! He's got one! <laughs> Doubled up! I had no expectations of catching the fish at all. I can't keep a white shirt and ice for more than about an hour. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It is Weston Smith. Today, we are walking into Shields with the man, the myth, the legend from Florida. What's up, guys? Oh, jeez. Oh, about it crush did about crush it. Norm is going to actually pick out some flies for me. You know, we've been doing a lot of fly fishing lately. We've been absolutely loving it. Uh, we're going to yeah. get Norm to fly fish us if we can get this video to 1,500 likes. So am I coming fly fishing here with you if that hits 1,500 likes? Is that the deal? If it hits 1,500 likes, we're flying Norm back out here. We're going to do some fly yes. fishing for big Texas bass, probably off the John boat. I don't know if you want to be that close to me while we're fly fishing on a single John boat because... I'm not very good. I've only done this once. I have no clue what. Like, I know nothing about fly fishing. Actually, a John Beast camera guy, Blackwell, he went out with me my first time and taught me, and I still did terrible. So, and he's a master. So, um, yeah, anyways, this is going to be very interesting. I would literally start fly fishing like uh, a few weeks ago. Yeah, YouTubers but you get. actually catch fish when you do it. Like, I've seen your videos, and you, like, you're catching fish. I will not catch a fish on it. I thought I'd be good at something like that, but I'm just terrible. I just can't learn it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we put Norm on his fly fishing PB if this video gets to 1,500 likes. But for today's episode, y'all, Norm is going to pick out some off-the-wall flies, some stuff. I want him to go for the most wild. What do I want you to do? <laughs> I literally want you to pick the most wild, big, colorful flies I think this place has got to offer. Okay. See well, I wouldn't if we pick can any normal-looking flies. That'd be boring. So my favorite flies are the ones that look the worst, I feel like. We're definitely going to make it interesting for you. I don't want you to use something that's good. Because it wouldn't be a challenge, then, you know what I mean? Challenge. So the goal is to catch a fish, a big bass primarily, on one of these flies that probably has no chance at it, frankly. It's probably geared for different to game fish, but <laughs> yeah. uh, anyways, we're oh, at the fly section. A huge section, man. I mean, what less to expect from the world's biggest fishing store? Nice, Before you bro. even look at this, come over here. Look at this, bro. So if you haven't seen this video over on Norm's channel, he literally just purchased a reel from here, and it actually was given away to a subscriber. You've got to go check it out. Yes. But for today, look at the price tag on all the fly fishing reels, dude. I'm telling you what, they oh, go for snap. as much as a metanium right here. I thought this, so the reels, you like don't reel, right? You just strip. So why do you need a $430 reel, you think? See, now, are you sure you're not a fly fisherman? Because you just said strip. How would you know the lingo? Did I get that right? I think that was just lucky how so, I got that. Or I, so, so to be fair, I fly fished one time, but we spent like nine hours doing it because I spent eight hours of Blackwell telling me, you got to do this and that, and I was doing everything wrong. So he probably told me to strip it like 90 times. <laughs> fair enough. Well, so oftentimes, actually, you could strip it in if it's a yeah. little fish, but if it's a big fish, you get them to the reel so you can fight them on it just like a big bass on the bait caster. Needless to say, I just wanted you to check out some of the tackle because we're all tackle junkies out here. Yeah, that's ridiculous, dude. I, I heard that like fly fishing like rods can even get in like the thousand dollar range or like thousands of dollars or something crazy. It's funny you should mention because here's like entry level, right? So you think of like entry level casting equipment, you know, maybe yeah. a forty dollar rod, something like that. You can go cheaper. You can find them cheaper. That's look at this guy right. That's nine fifty, dude. Bro, why do you even need one of these? They should not have this out on display, man. <laughs> it's funny how we were just in Field and Stream and they had like the $18 lures locked up and then they just have a $900, $950 rod, excuse me, that they just allow me to touch. That was a bad decision. Stop touching things. Even more wild is, dude, all the fly rods are like four pieces and you're like, it's a thousand bucks for this thing right here. Now, most of these have like a lifetime warranty though. That's the thing. Like if you break oh, a section, okay, it's like okay. a real cheap fix. And then, you know, you're pretty much set. Most fly guys also have like one combo based on the species they're targeting. So you're not really carrying five combos as you're pond hopping. It's a whole different experience, which you are going to get here shortly. Let me put this down before I go into debt. Now it is time yeah. for the main attraction. Let's get Norm to pick me out some of these wild Wild flies that we're gonna try and catch. Uh, hey, potentially a new PB. It's What's your pounder. PB on the fly right now? Like bass? I think like three and a half. That's I pretty think. good. <laughs> I, I feel like people don't fly fish too much for bass. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like it's like a trout thing. Definitely trout. In fact, I've been watching this dude out in New Zealand, and he tears them up. He's hitting the rivers out there, and he's yeah. catching giants. I mean, he's catching Jeez. like 15 pounders. It seems like on a regular basis, and uh, I could heck? only hope to catch, you know, like a. 23, 24 inch bass on this thing <laughs> with what Norm's gonna pick us out for today. So anyways, man, uh, give me your first impressions on some of these things Dude, and pick me out a handful that I can try and fish at the ponds. so much, and I know flies are super expensive, so I'm gonna try to be like 
nice here, but I don't mind the budget. No budget? Oh, that's what I like to hear. So first off, I saw this dragonfly, dude, and that looks nuts. Like, it's so crazy how much detail goes into a fly fishing lure. Uh, dude, that looks like so insane. And I see bass eating dragonflies all the time. I was like, I wish I had a dragonfly. Like, they will definitely eat that, or I have no clue. I'd never go fly fishing, but they eat real dragonflies, so why would they not eat that? 100% you need that. I, it's literally right here. I didn't even have to look, and I already know that's it. Let's grab one of these buckets right here. We're tossing the dragonfly in there. I just want to get you the five craziest ones I can find. Dude, what is that? Is that a fuzzy that a Cinco? I've never seen that. <laughs> that, that looks I've like a here. fuzzy Cinco. It has like a like a two watt or a one watt little EWG on it. Look. Okay, yeah, you need that. Oh look, they even got June bug. <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> is it. That's basically like a Cinco, but in fly form. You know what's funny is I've like looked at a lot of these flies and I'm like, I think I've just like passed that up because it looks so awkward and like I'm not confident in it. So definitely I've got to give it a yeah. shot. I mean if a Cinco works, you know, like it's the number one fishing lure, like probably fish catcher of all time. You gotta go with that, man. You just have to. And it's a little bit more finesse. It's different. These fish haven't seen a fuzzy one yet, so I think that could work. That in your bucket. Fly. Boom. Sanko, two things I have not fished yet on the channel is with the there, fly rod. Is there another one over here? Oh, snap. I saw one over there I like, so if I don't see anything over, oh, they got bumblebees. You're getting a bumblebee. Oh gosh, it's gonna get tough. Oh, there's a grasshopper and cricket. Dude, this is like, this is the YouTuber section of the fly. <laughs> the fly fishing community, look. Little grasshoppers. I don't know if I wanna give you that though. It might be too good. I'm looking more and more at the surface of the water as I fish now, and I'm like, okay, we're throwing all these plastics that get down there, and I'm seeing all these bugs on the surface, and I'm like, this is what a lot of these fish are eating on a day-to-day -day basis that we don't yeah. focus on throwing casting gear. You never think about the cricket and the grasshopper and the bumblebee. Little do we know, they're munching on these things, y'all. And if the bite gets tough, I found the fly to be quite effective. I think you're, I think you're onto something there, man. I didn't know they made fly fishing spiders. Dude, that is the coolest little spider ever, dude. 100% the spider. Is this too heavy? That's like a mouse. Like a hedgehog. Sonic, Sonic the hedgehog. The hedgehog. <laughs> yep, there you go. You're getting this too. You're getting this too, man. I don't even need to look at the other ones. Norm's gonna make me upgrade my rod to an eight weight real quick. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but yes. The that'd heavy, be like the heavy, like, like the muscle rod. Yeah, it'd still be like a extra heavy type of deal, but that'd yeah. be like a heavy rod. This one 100 percent I don't even know what that's supposed to represent. It looks like a little squirrel. So you have a hedgehog fishing lure. Where's your bucket? Oh, okay, right here. So dude, I'm noticing this stuff up top. It's looking pretty good, and I know they're a lot bigger. So if you're trying to catch a super big fish. What is this green thing? Hold up. They got a darn caterpillar in here. Where are the hooks in it? I haven't got hooks yet. <laughs> <laughs> Baby chicken. That looks like a Pokemon. That does look like a chicken, actually. Look at them. Look at the fluff. All right, so you get a baby chicken. And we're going to get some big stuff because I want you to like have some top water lures too. We're going to go with like this frog representation, the pot belly frog. I feel like that could get a big in. Oh, oh! And we're going to get one of these massive streamer things. Going with my confidence color I've never thrown. We got the, the black and orange. I think the fish will probably know what season it is. So. Yeah. That's it, man. That's all seven. I'm going to stop. This is so funny. Norm's first time seeing flies, and he's grabbing all the stuff I would have never picked out, which was kind of the idea here. I wanted him to pick some yeah. stuff I probably wouldn't go with. What was that now? I don't know what this is. It almost looks... Like the fly fishing version of a jig. Throw, throw it in? Throw all right, it we're in. adding it. We're adding the jig. All right, we need to stop this because you have a lot of lures to catch fish on now. Or at least try out. I want to see how a lot of these work in the water. Okay, well, there we go. Norm has got us decked out with the full-on tackle bucket. We are going to now head over to the ponds, and we are going to crank what we hope to be our first five-plus pounder. Aw, snap. some flies Norm has picked it. us out. Well, guys, I got to head to my flight. That's leaving in Florida actually like right now. It probably already left, so we gotta get to the airport. Good luck, Weston, on catching those fish on your fly fishing lures and 1,500 likes, I'll come back and we'll both go fly fishing because I hate it because I'm bad at it. So 1,500 likes, guys, I'll, I'll make it happen. It's a deal, let's roll. Made it to the water, y'all. We're out here with Torrance Pond Boys. He should be rolling up any second. Devin behind the camera. And uh, today we're gonna be breaking out those flies Norm told us to get. We brought the kayak today. That is right, y'all been requesting more kayak fishing with the fly, and that is exactly what we're doing instead of hitting the banks. And we're starting off with Big Bertha right here. Check that thing out. This is, uh, oh, this thing's called the Sasquatch in brown trout. Go figure, I'm pretty sure it's too big for this rod. And here's Pond Boys right now. Hello. <laughs> All whipping out the autopilots today. Uh, you said you've been, you caught a few already today? Yeah, I caught a few. I lost a massive one right in between some trees. Uh, I was using the glide bait. Fish hammered it, blew up on it like a top water, and then snagged him on a tree, and he just <laughs> barked. But no flies. I mean, you haven't, you haven't fished a fly. No, bro. I'm, not, I'm honestly kind of jealous because I know it's about to happen right now. Uh, I don't want to jinx it for you, but I think it's about to be a good time. I'm excited to see what it looks like kind of soaked because right now it just looks kind of weird how right. bulky it is. <laughs> yeah, they but, condense. Yeah, I want to see what it looks like, dude. Honestly, me too. You can thank Norm for this one right here. Yeah. Uh, anyways, we got a few more. This is my tackle box for the day. It is the Shields bag. I'm just going to 
load that up in the kayak and we're about to hit the water. Yeah, know, man. yeah here, go ahead. Get you, yeah, get a little feel. What do you even do? I don't even <laughs> <laughs> That's Is it, it actually real? Right oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Wait, what the, is it drag? Like, yeah, it's whack, isn't it? Wait, that's the real drag. This ain't no bait caster. Let me give him a demonstration. Probably not gonna work right here. This is all very bad uh, stuff to be dealing with. But so you pull a little bit of line out, right? So you can like make a cast. I knew that was part of it. Right? <laughs> and then this is not, it's not gonna work. It's, oh, it's so, so windy, windy right here, but. Ah! <laughs> so that's about as far as I'm gonna be able to cast it. Gonna You're be, gonna get eaten, bro. It's gonna go wild. There you go, just like a hair jig. That is so awesome. That was like a nice little bluegill or something. That's one of them big yellow crappie. <laughs> Golden crappie, baby. <laughs> so anyways, Torrance is gonna show us how it's done. If he catches something giant, we're definitely gonna showcase it for you. Same thing with Devin. She's not wearing a GoPro today. It's all about, it's all about the flies. Let's get a crack of laughing. <laughs> See what's about to happen next. Cool, thank you, babe. There's so much stuff on this kayak for this line to get caught up on. You got a bass already? This man, what just happened? This is gonna be crazy, dude. When something hits this. Okay, so I found out it kind of floats. Once I strip it one time, then it goes subsurface. Yeah, I should be using heavier fly line and a heavier rod, but ain't nobody got time for that. These rods get expensive. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. First one. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know if he's small or not, dude. He's probably little. Yeah, he's little. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna strip him in. Get on in the boat. Nice. <laughs> Norm, she works, baby. <laughs> that's on the gold right there. Big <gasps> single hook. Okay, that's a deal. Bing bong boom. I would tie on another one, but I'm actually excited to fish this one more. Out of a lot of the ones he chose, that this one, since it's a little bit bigger. Oops, sorry about the uh, remote in your face for the autopilot. Since this one's a little bit bigger, I'm expecting a decent sized bass here. Norm picking out some good flies, he doesn't even know it. Norm's only fly fished one time before, and he's picking out the, the bread winners. That's awesome. There we go, right along the bank. I need to pull more line out and be able to make a further cast. There we go. That ought to do it. Come on, come on, come on. Is that a fish? That's a fish. That might be a bigger one. That's a bigger one. Yep. Yep. Okay, get me out of here. <laughs> right out of the sticks, bro. Come on, baby. Where's my line? Give me my line. Woo! <laughs> All right, Norm, we caught a decent one on the yellow bugger. <laughs> yeah, I think it's time to switch it up now that we've had some fun. Oh, we only had them in the tongue. Literally only in the tongue. Usually that will uh, cause those bass to bleed a little bit, but that was like right in the tip. So he got very lucky. And, uh, and I got lucky too, because I was just fighting him by hand. So to not uh, lose that fish um, was was lucky. Let's rig something else up, man. We found out this thing works, but there's more in the tackle box. We got the Carl Snips right here on the seat. Can't live a day without these things, I'll tell you that much. Boom! Did your thing, little buddy. What do we got next? Eller's Black and Orange Gator Dunn. It's called the Gator Dunn. <laughs> That's awesome. It says size three ought. Once again, I'm sure this is a uh, more suited for an eight weight or even potentially a 10 weight rod. Like definitely feels like this orange is like that deer fur or whatever, right? That they use for a lot of these flies. It's got a different texture and feeling. Then I got a couple feathers, glitter wings. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm breaking out these big baits first because uh, I wanted to test this uh, TFO rod, I guess. Push it to its limits. It's a six weight. So we've got a six weight combo right here. Like our line is six weight, our rod is a six weight and the reel, we've got the Hydros three. So it's the size that's rated for a couple different size rods. Where's my clippers again? Okay, so he floats too, but I'm sure after a couple, oh, this is lame. Come on, go underwater. I know you got that fur, there we go. Dude, this is gonna, this thing looks even bigger in the water than that last one. Like when they say like, you wanna match your trailer to the to the hard bait you're using, uh, this is not that. Imagine throwing like a fire engine red or just bright orange, essentially like chatterbait skirt with like a black trailer. I don't know, maybe y'all do that. Comment down below, let me know. Oh, there we go. There we go. This one could be okay. This one could be okay. First good one on the fly rod. Oh yeah, let's show Torrance how this thing works. Come on, baby. Get on up out of here. Let's go. Woo Doubled up, baby. Yeah. Come on. I think my fish is still on. Dude, I think I'm stuck. Oh no. Oh no. Where's this fish? Oh, he's taking us in the grass, y'all. It's not even that big. 
He had me fooled the way he hit it. Get her done! <laughs> Norm, these things are crushing it, bro. These might be my new favorites right here. I got to get a beefier rod. Oh my gosh. Okay, out of the thick stuff. And that wasn't even a big one. Oh my goodness, it's going to be a ridiculous fight if we get something big here. It's tough to fight these fish on this thing. With 10 mile an hour winds, I mean, it's just... It's a recipe for disaster. So just like I told Torrance, where the fly line goes from orange to like off-white, that's when I've got about 40 feet of line out. And I usually get a few more pulls after that just to, to give myself a little bit of leeway in case I get a good cast. Because basically I, I, I found out I can cast about 50 feet or so with this thing so far. I haven't really tried to perfect my cast much. I've literally just gone out and fished and not really cared. So it's like I'm having fun with it even though I can't cast like the furthest distance. It's uh, perfectly fine with me. I can get enough. So, in case y'all were critiquing my casting distance, let's try and get some more. Oh, shit. There he is. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hit it. I just saw you. Oh, God. No, I didn't. Come on. I dare you. Oh, got him. Oh, top water. That was so sick. He hit it right away. Gosh, dang it. Blew up the spot. No, no. Since I got that last one pretty close to the surface, the grass is just below the surface, and I've seen some dragonflies here. I'm about to throw this guy out. These have all, oh, this is a Umpqua brand, Umpqua, called the Crystal Damsel Dragon Blue 06 BU, for what it's worth. Never thrown a dragonfly yet. Watch this. I should probably just let it sit. Oh, got him. <laughs> that was a fast. <laughs> we got, hold on, we got, we got. Right when it hits. Look, right by that tree. Bro. Yo, I had him, I had him, I had him, I had him. I had him, I had him. If, 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 if. I'm getting hits on this thing. Like they're they're hitting top water. It's that time. It's just not it's not bad enough. Hold on. We're gonna give them what they really want. The pot belly frog, y'all. Rainy chartreuse. This is gonna do it. Check this thing out too. This is the first fly bait I've ever used with a weed guard. It's got a weed guard in front of the hook. That's so cool. Ooh, give me that five. This thing looks good. Foo, you see that? Just had a blow up. It's cool how you can reposition it. Like if I want to be like this far out, but cast a little further to the right, yeah, you can just kind of get right back in there. Okay, okay, we'll take him. <laughs> it's a little dude. Bro, on the, what? That was cool. Hold up, there's more. You wanna try this? Oh, oh my, oh, that was like a four, bro. That was a three to four right there. That was the one. Top water season. That was a good one. Did, he, did you see him start running right out there? Uh, he ran, he started to run deep and he just, I don't know how he came off to be honest. I don't know if I like this weed guard. I usually don't miss too many on these single hooks. Oh, 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 I saw him coming at it. I do not like this weed guard. This is terrible. Norm, you're picking out some bad baits, bro. I like those first ones, but this, this little popper thing is not where it's at. What am I doing? I don't even want you here. Get out of here. Here we go. You mean I could have caught that huge fish if I just... Oh, that's frustrating. Can't say I'm going to be able to bring anything in that hits right here. Oh my gosh. How do we miss him? I have no I have no weed guard. This is insane. I, I don't know why the hookup ratio is so bad on this thing. I could have had six fish. I've had so many hits on this. That's naked seven. <laughs> it's a bass. <laughs> I got him. Of course I would get the little guy. Come here, bud. I don't think this is good for a six weight rod to be flinging you up here like that. Boat flips only on the fly rod. I don't think that's a good idea. But so far, like one out of 30 fish landed. Those are good, good odds. Where are we going, kayak? Fly line wrapped around everything. Got him, got him. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh my actually hooked up not that big though that was cool dude <laughs> Woo. Huh, he came back for it little guy he down in there oh i think he just got off fine with me fly fishing off the yak it is an experience got him oh yeah you really choked it there you go, bud. Mm. oh wow just sitting there catches the biggest one of the day that's funny Nice chunk, probably two and a half. All right, so this one's starting to work after taking that weed guard off. 
That's kind of funny, huh? Little modifications. Okay. Come on. Where's my motor? Dude, this is ridiculous. Too much fun. Top water popping. There we go. <laughs> Sick. There's more big ones to be had right here. Let's go. Too much of a mess. Oh, he's got it. He does have it. No. You want to try it? Come on. And now I'm warning you, you're gonna like this. <laughs> Torrent's about to have a, a shot at the fly rod for the first time. Oh, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh! Woo. Come on, you know how long it took to get that cash? I'm saying. You got the waders and everything, dude. <laughs> so much goes through your mind. <laughs> I feel like my arm shouldn't be sore. <laughs> Slow and steady. Put all that line in the water. Fuck that line. Oh, 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 that's good, that's good, that's good. Cool. That's good. I mean, over by those trees, too. Oh, she's got one. Oh, wow. What you got? What does she have? On the frog. It could be a giant. It's good. Oh, what you got? He's got one. He's got one. Doubled up. Doubled up. Graham, Graham, hold up, T. Hey, that's it. That's it. Now just take the, hey, you can, hey, let a little line out. Now just take that rod tip up vertical. Just, there you go. Are you kidding me, son? In a shocking turn of events, Torrance catches his first fly fish. Devin catches a giant on the frog. Hey, we gotta bring this, we gotta huddle up. This is actually a really big deal. He said this is a really big deal. <laughs> nice November evening, y'all. She's got a freaking giant. Dude, I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> like, I can't believe I got him in. I was worried about, like, that hook set. Nah, you're good. I, I really haven't had many fish come off fly fishing because uh -huh. those hooks are, like, just so small and tack sharp. But um, that, that bait, I don't know. I'm like... I'm like two and 12 on that thing. <laughs> nice. First double up of the evening. What y'all got to say about it? Torrance is looking like he's having a real good time. Uh, I don't even know. There's line everywhere, but <laughs> there's a huge smile on my face, man. That is so awesome. Uh, definitely a bucket list thing to do. Uh, any fisherman, you should definitely get a fly fishing rod. That was just, I mean, Weston, you did a good job explaining it. Uh, my arm is a little sore, <laughs> but once he said just relax, relax, then I started getting smoother casts. And like you just get addicted to wanting to get good casts. And I forgot about even catching a fish, and then boom, and you were on. So, <laughs> yeah, crazy. big in. Don't thank me, thank Norm. <laughs> Norm putting Norm Torrance. For catching my first fish, man, my first fly fish. I saw Weston and Torrance getting on the topwater action, so I went ahead and tied on that walking frog and I'm trying to learn to walk it better and it's paid off because good solid I definitely like a three three quarter super cool catch I haven't caught a frog fish I feel like in a hot minute so it was really awesome but we're gonna go ahead and let this big girl go nice <laughs> oh yeah I can't believe I missed that one that was probably, oh, that that was was probably about the route, wasn't it? Huh? You think it was around the same size? It was around the same size, yeah. Oh, oh my! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bastards. <laughs> All right, y'all, the sun has officially set. New fall Guggen merch right here. You guys gotta go get it in the month of November. It's gonna sell out. I don't know if it's available quite yet. Probably by the time you're seeing this video, it will be. But Torrance, congrats on your first ever fish on the fly Dude. rod. <laughs> Thank you, bro. My pleasure. That Dude. was so fun, man. <laughs> <laughs> That was sick. We got to go over to uh, probably Shields and uh, grab him a, a nice little combo. He works with Shields, so I know they uh, have got some quality goods. Austin over there in the fly fishing section always hooks it up. As far as the selection goes, he knows what is up. So uh, we're getting out of here. He's got to get him a few more casts in, but literally the sun has already set. What an amazing day. Just to recap, grab these flies from Shields with Fishing with Norm. Uh, it's so sick. We didn't have too much time to hang out and chill while he was in town because we were filming for Guggen Week, but we were able to film just a video or two. Go check out his channel. He's got a couple different videos, uh, Shields Academy, different challenges. Ah, about to fall off this yak to close things out. <laughs> then we brought him out to the water. Devin catches a giant Torrance, first ever fish on the fly. And then, of course, we caught them on the flies Norm picked out. What an amazing day hope you all enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe drop a like all the things and we'll catch you on the next one peace that's like a mouse like a hedgehog it looks like a little squirrel